Okay, so in this video we are going to discuss the birthday problem, which is a fantastic problem in probability. So, the birthday problem. The birthday problem. And the birthday problem is this. If you are at, say, a party, and you have K people, what is the chance, what is the probability that two of them will share a birthday? that two of them will share a birthday, will share a birthday. And we'd quite like to know something like, um, what's, um, what, how many people do you have to have at this party in order for the probability that what two of them will share a birthday to be half? And the answer to that is quite counterintuitive. Have a guess of what you think the answer will be, and I will show, because my guess would have been, you know, you'll probably need about you know, there are 365 year, uh, days in a year, so you'll probably need about 150 people. But it's much, much, much lower. Okay, so we're going to tackle this problem then. The first thing is we're going to make it simpler. Um, we are going to pretend, we are going to assume, assume uh, there are 365 days in a year, in a year, and there is no such thing as a leap year. And we will exclude. We will exclude February the 29th, the 29th of February. Uh, we're also going to assume that uh, assume that you are equally likely to be born on any day of the year. That you are equally likely to be born, equally likely to be born on any day of the year. On any day of the year. Okay, so. Um, what is our probability space? And I made a mistake in the last video. I told you that this symbol, this Greek letter, was the, sig uh, the capital letter for sigma. This is the capital letter for sigma. That is the capital letter for omega. Uh, so the small uh, letter is that. The capital letter is that. So omega is the letter used um, for uh, sample space. I thought it was sigma because sigma is the S in Greek. Uh, so S for sample space, but no, it's Amiga. Um, okay, so um, okay, so um, onwards. Um, so what is our sample space in this case? Well, it contains absolutely every possibility that you could get. So if you have, if you think about having K people at the party, we could label them person one, person two. So we'll make these little people. Person one, person two is here, all the way up to person K over here. And each one of them has a birthday. Now, for the basis of this, we will just label uh, their birthday by the number that the day is. So, for instance, if you were born on January the 1st, your birthday is going to be 1, as far as this problem is concerned. If you're born on December the 31st, your birthday will be 365. Uh, so, etc. Um, you can fill in the gaps. So, every person has a number attached to them. So, this person might have been born on day 27 of the year. This person might have been born on 30 third day of the year, this person might have just been born on 365. So every person has a number attached to them, a birthday. So we can ask, what is the total number of possibilities you would get? Uh, well, uh, this person can have any number from 1 to 30, 365 there, so we've got 365 possibilities there. For every number he has, this person can also have 365 possibilities. So, and it goes on, so you get all of these 365. So the total number of possibilities that are all in our sample space, every single possibility that could happen, i.e. every single person in this K people, in these K, this collection of K people, has every possible combination. Uh, all of those sit in this sample space. So the sample space has 365 to the K um, possible outcomes in it of this experiment. Um, Okay, so that's the size of our sample space. Uh, now what we want to do is find the probability of a match, i.e. the probability that if you... Um, what that means is the event of a match is the subset, and the event... having a match is equal to an event, and that consists is equal to the subset of all uh, outcomes which have a match in them, that which have a match in them, have a match in them, i.e. two people, at least two people, if, if, 
you have if your outcome has at least two people with which share a birthday, i.e., say person three also has uh, a birthday on the twenty seventh day, then this outcome would be in the event would be in this event which is this match, and the match is an event, so it's a subset of outcomes. Okay, uh, is equal to subset of all outcomes which have a match in them. Okay, um, so we want to know what is the probability of that. Well, it's equal to, um, well, actually, it's far easier to find the probability of its complement, i.e. that there isn't a match, and then take one away from that, uh, because of countable um, additivity, you can do that, uh, because uh, this plus this is the probability of the whole space, which is one, and therefore we've just moved it to the other side. Okay, um, so... Um, uh, so we want to work out what the probability of no match being uh, happening is. Well, what's how many ways can that happen? Um, this person, uh, in this case, I want to say that um, the probability you can ascribe a probability. So if you think about the sample space, uh, you can every event uh, you can think about ascribing a probability. Um, you can think about ascribing a probability to every single outcome, i.e. every outcome is itself an event. So if you think about the set, um, big curly F, of events, then this will contain all the singletons. So put all the outcomes in a set on themselves, and uh, they will all be events, and you ascribe a probability to them, which is 1 divided by 365 to the k. So when we try and find the probability of no match, all we need to do is work out how many singletons in it are in it, i.e. how many outcomes in it it is has, and then uh, times that by 1 ho uh, over 365 to the k. That's the rigorous idea of what we're doing. Um, okay, so... Um, the probability of getting no match, we just now need to work out how many outcomes there are, how many plausible outcomes there are that have no match in them. And basically, well, we could ascribe to person 1 365 different, different, uh, not different birthdays, couldn't we? Then to person 2, we would only be able to ascribe 364, and then all the way down, we, to person 3, we'd only be able to ascribe 363, and then we could go on and on, all the way down to k, and we'd only be able to ascribe 365, not minus k, minus k minus 1, like that, uh, possible outcomes, uh, possible um, birthdays. And therefore, the total number of, um, number of outcomes that have no matches in is this, multi is this um, great big number here, 365 factorial divided by 365, uh, minus k factorial. So if we divide that by 365 uh, to the k, that is the probability that there is no match. So therefore, the probability that there is a match is equal to 1 minus 365 factorial over 365 minus k factorial, all of that over 365 to the k, and that is the probability that there is a match. And if you put in a half into here, you can solve for k. Of course, you need to note that k needs to be um, a um, k needs to be an integer value. So if you take the k that's bigger than that, then you'll um, be guaranteed that it's over a half. You won't get an integer value. It won't work perfectly. But what you find is that if you put in k is equal to 23 you will actually get a value over a half, just over a half. And in fact, so that tells us that uh, if you have 23 people at a party, then the probability is a half that you will have, that two people in that party will share a birthday. And I, at least for one, find that quite incredible.